the the Chilean schooling system has been uh, considered a model for for uh, you know different countries. In, in, in what sense? Uh, the reform that started in the early 80s basically promote competition. And it promote competition by allowing voucher schools, basically incorporating these voucher schools to the schooling system. So these voucher schools are uh, institutions that uh, are managed by you know, uh, individuals uh, uh, and, and they get subsidies from the government. Uh, Public schools stay, stay you know, as public schools, and the idea was to have these voucher schools competing with public schools. So this goes back to, you know, Friedman, and, and although the, the, the China system is a bit different, it's not really a voucher uh, in, 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 in what uh, uh, Friedman had in mind, but that's the way it has been, you know, analyzed in the context of the literature. And you have the private schools. Private schools have been there forever, I mean, since we, I mean, we have memory. So this system evolved. And uh, the situation right now, and particularly during the last uh, decade, we have seen uh, a shift from the enrollment from public school. Uh, many kids are actually moving from public schools to these voucher schools. So uh, it used to be the case uh, a decade ago that 55%, 60% of the students in the schooling system would, be, would, would have been enrolled in, in, in public schools. That and so 35 or 30 percent would have been vouchers, and then a 10 percent or so uh, would have been in, um, in in private. Well, those numbers are now changing. So right now, the situation is that uh, the fraction of students in, in enrolling voucher schools is larger than the, the proportion enrolling public schools, and that has been a recent a recent uh, phenomenon. Uh, so the question is, what's going on? Is really public education? Uh, public institutions competing with these vouchers at schools, uh, and uh, that's an open question. If you look at the uh, if you look at the legislation, the rules, uh, I think it's very hard to argue that public schools actually compete. They are boxing, but like with only one hand. When they're trying to do the what the best they can do, but you know, the system is pretty rigid, so they cannot do. So the principal cannot fire or hire uh, teachers, and so. They will, and, and on, the, on the other on the other side, right on the you know in, in, on the other uh, end, you have the voucher schools and the principal of the voucher school. She, I mean, basically, he can manage the school uh, as a private institution, so it has full flexibility.